This is about Fukushima, even though you're looking at the Gulf of Mexico. As I've told you in 2010, on June 12th, the Gulf Luke Kern died, and this man who posted this has never been heard from since. And we know that there is a no-fly zone, there is a no-go zone still in this region, in the Gulf of Mexico. So now we know that the Luke Kern is no longer, or it's running with half uh, velocity of what it usually should do. It should run with 4.6 meters per second. That would be around 13 feet per second. But it don't do that anymore. It's only half. And that gives unfortunately this phenomenon that the loop current is no longer going in a straight line. It's licking up against the east coast of the United States of America, which is providing the large humidity and the severe weather that you are experiencing on the east coast with the deep freeze and all the snow and you being buried. That's one of the reasons for why you're having this weather. That is because the loop current now is so weak that the Atlantic Ocean current itself is able to press on it and press it in towards the coastline. But I want to go to Google Earth for a second and show you something here. You know the jet stream is supposedly to lie up on the northern hemisphere. And right now I've got the weather map on. But it's supposed to lie up here in this area here, right? And circling the planet. But because the loop current is no longer as it should be, let us take off the uh, weather for one moment like this and let's go over to the Atlantic in a hurry so I can show you right there you can see and let's zoom one more so it's a little bigger okay here we got the loop current inside here it's supposed to go in this direction up this way and up landing here where it then drops into the ocean and serves like a pump and that pumps meaning when it comes up to this ice ice cold water the salt is being um, uh, what do you call it extruded from the uh, water itself and that's make it drops to the surf or to the bottom because the salt is heavy so it drops down and it serves like a pump so that is kind of like the cardiovascular system which is sitting here and the loop, or like the jet stream, is supposed to run up here in this area here on the northern hemisphere, and the loop current, when it was functional, it actually served as a rudder, keeping the jet stream up here on the northern hemisphere in balance. But now we have half the force of the loop current, so now it's licking from down here and all the way up here and into the Arctic Ocean which is leading to yeah melt off of the arctic ice and also leading to the methane expulsion because of the permafrost is actually uh, diminishing and we have some very hot temperatures according to season here in siberia and russia well they're measuring to 40 degrees in midwinter and that is unprecedented and that is because that the jet stream is no longer where it's supposed to be. No, the jet stream has actually become very low on the hemisphere now. It's I have another picture here I want to show you and I believe that shows up here. This is the picture of the uh, uh, polar vortex as they call it. And underneath here you see Panhandle, you see Florida here. This is the Gulf of Mexico and down here we have the jet stream running now so because we don't have the rudder for the jet stream any longer the jet stream is able to be manipulated by HAP in Gagona, Alaska yeah you heard me right and I'm gonna explain it to you here in the next frame which I believe comes now yeah here we got it this is an older frame but it don't matter it still uh, illustrates so in order to steer the jet stream they have to use hop to make a hole or a gap in the ionosphere to suck in air and by that when you know you make a, a big vacuum up in the upper atmosphere and something has to fill up that air which is no longer there because of the big gap 
up to 200 miles into space they can blob it up and that is a lot and that gap which is left behind makes the the uh, atmospheric winds move so they can move the entire jet stream in whatever direction they see fit so let's just say as an example out here they make up in the ionosphere a hole that makes the the air run towards that vacuum to fill out that void there is no longer anything there and thereby they are dragging down the jet stream and had it been because of the loop current was not uh, if it still were efficient they would not be able to control it in this manner so in reality they have full control over your weather pattern here in the United States of America they can actually also put a hole here in the ionosphere with a harp in that area and that will then lift the jet stream's position up in the north and you will experience nice uh, mild weather and less winter on the northern hemisphere up here on the northern part of the United States of America. So by putting it down here in this area here they are sucking the jet stream to it. They have not been able to do that 100% while the, jet, the Gulf loop current was uh, efficient. And here we have Google Earth again. So what I'm saying is they can steer it high, they can steer it low. And by doing the vacuum over here in this area here, they're dragging the air towards it. Meaning the jet stream is going low. And that's why we, United States, yeah, all the way down to, yeah, Florida is the only place in the United States right now where we have somewhat good weather. <laughs> somewhat. But the reason for, for, for the, the escalation of this weather and also for the nasty storms that Europe is going to experience and they have been experiencing ever since 2010 and as I wrote to the media uh, stations, newspapers and TV stations what they had coming for them because of the missing loop current. But no one reacted to that because the media is owned by the Rothschilds and we know the Rothschilds pretty much run the planet with the Royal British House and so on. We know how deep that rabbit hole goes but that's not the point here. The point is they are able now because of the diminishing of the loop current to steer the jet stream lower and lower and they can actually provide a mini ice age due to that because now the jet stream is running all the way down here in the south part of Europe and Europe is not used to have them they used to have mild winters and when I was living in Denmark this little spot right there underneath right there we had mild winters for the last 20 years when the loop current died they had immediately did the following winter meaning in 2010 when winter set in it already began to set an effect and by harp and controlling the weather like that or the jet stream they can basically determine your fate when it comes to how you're thriving and regarding crops and you know that's part of the depopulation agenda but I have a much bigger problem right now because they can steer the jet stream this low and have control over it as they do. We have another scenario now and this is some serious serious things. This is this. This web page is shut down by Google. You can't get to it but this is the readings on the west coast of United States meaning in California. We have 1200 percent higher than normal. 352 CPM normal background radiation is around 25 if it gets to 90 it's alert if it gets to 200 you get cancer now it's 352 CPM so by saying that let me show you here by putting on the clouds again and the weather systems and see if it wants to plot in fast enough and we can go back here again and we can go over here to Japan this should be over here in this region here there we got it that is Japan so let's zoom in a little 
so we can activate the weather a little better. So here's Japan, and we already got a system running here. And this system is coming approximately five days delay when it started up over here by Japan, Fukushima. And it's moving over to the west coast of the United States of America. And right here we got HAP, right here in this area. Right? And you see the systems are here. This, this is current weather right now. So now you can see with we have steam coming out of Fukushima and we can see on the reading that you just saw here on this picture, right? That we have a problem. So right now by controlling the weather, by controlling the jet stream as they're capable of doing 100% now, they can spray this radioactive dust or gases into the cloud systems and let it come down with the precipitation. And we have had some serious precipitation here in the United States of America. And they're having some serious precipitation over in Europe too with this Hercules storm they have. They call this storm here, or ice storm, in, um, in America, they call this one Cleon. And I looked it up on Wikipedia, but I'm not online right now because that don't work too good with Google Earth and Camtasia. So I can explain one thing to you, that Cleon is a part of the Greek mythology. And it, it pretty much, and basically, you can look it up on Wikipedia, it means the dis despise and the contempt of humans, us us lower classes as they call us useless eaters. That's why they call this storm Cleon because they have no regards for us. And that's pretty much why they named this ice storm like this. They want to freeze us to pieces plus the precipitation which is highly radioactive right now. 552, uh, 352. Are you out of your mind? If you're living here, you're developing cancer now. There's no question about it. You will get cancer. All of you living in California. All of you. And that will be within the next year. You will see death tolls and you will see sickness. And you will see people screaming to get Obamacare. Because they're sick and they want help. But they should get no help at all. The fish, sea and sea life in the Pacific Ocean is dying off in mass. In mass. And two-headed whales has been found washing up on a beach, dead. Two-headed. We're talking mutation right here. This is unprecedented. And now here you can see, here is this polar vortex. And actually, this is the jet stream all the way down here. All the way down here. And driving this cyclone weather over in Europe, where they're now being better, also with the remnants of Fukushima. So the entire northern hemisphere right now is being littered and drizzled with radioactive material into the Atlantic Ocean too. Okay, it's not so much in this region yet, but accumulation will make it a lot in the end. And you can see here, we have precipitation right here where the gray clouds are. Here it's raining or snowing, it's snowing. This is precipitation. Here there's no precipitation. But this is where the jet stream is running right now. And this is this polar vortex. And it kind of looked like the freaking image from day after tomorrow. This is in the middle of the winter. We are getting hurricane uh, uh, weather. But my, my, my biggest concern here on this is their capability of controlling the jet stream 100% now. And now we have a reading saying this. Did you read the numbers? 352. You better get some iodine, potassium iodine, which, well, the government has bought up, and you better pray, and you better get out of harm's way, get somewhere where you're not be it near the, the uh, west coast, because this is coming in with the sea gust, or the mist in the air, and it's landing right on you, on your skin, you get one particle, just one particle inside you by breathing or open mouth. One drop of seawater and you swallow that and you're doomed. One particle. Yeah, and the aliens are coming too, right? So, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all seeing these numbers. This will kill us. 
especially on the west coast this is from the west coast so we have a serious serious problem people and they enjoying what they're doing and there's complete lid on it no one is talking about it in media but I'm talking about it get out of harm's way if you can God bless you